Okay, I'm going to help and tell you uh, how to tell the ellipse is going to be a horizontal or a vertical ellipse. There's some things that you have to look at first to see if it's a horizontal ellipse or vertical ellipse. Uh, first, we'll, we'll just look at the, the, the pictures here. So this will be figure one. Figure one, if you look at figure one, that's a horizontal ellipse. Horizontal ellipse. Now, if you look at the horizontal ellipse, it looks kind of like a circle. And there's no vertex, there's a center. This center here will just be at the origin. And then you have vertices. Now on the vertices, that would be your major axis. And V1 stands for vertices 1. And then V2 equals vertices 2. And then your foci is on the outside of the, the, the vertices. So F1 is foci 1, and F2 is foci 2. And then up here in the y-axis for the horizontal ellipse, that will be your minor axis, and that will be your y-intercepts, and this will be your x-intercepts. And for the vertical ellipse, the foci and the vertices, they go up here in the y-axis, so it kind of rotates here, it goes vertically. The foci and the vertices go vertically, and the minor axis goes here on the x-axis. Now, how do you know if it's going to be a horizontal ellipse or a vertical ellipse? It depends on where the a is. If, if the a squared is under the x squared, then it will go on the x-axis. The foci will go here on the x-axis. Now, if it was a vertical ellipse, it would look something like this. x squared plus y squared equals 1. So the b squared will be under here, and then the a squared will be under here. So then it would be a vertical ellipse. If a squared is under the y squared, then it's a vertical ellipse. And if the a squared is under the x squared, it would be a horizontal ellipse. And here's a little tip. Um, if you don't know which one which one A is, A A is always the big number. A A square is always A square is always the big number okay so here's a good illustration to help you guys tell which one is bigger or not I'll, I'll do an example here okay I'll try to do an example here real quick Okay, x squared plus y squared equals 1. This is just an example. 36 and this will be 25. So which one is A? Which one's the bigger number? It will be 36. So A squared equals 36 and then A equals A equals 6. And then B equals 5. Well, B equals plus or minus 5 and that a equals plus or minus 6 if you do it on the graph and then b squared equals 25 and then this one would be uh, a, a horizontal ellipse so it looks something like this so it would be a horizontal And remember, it looks something like this. x squared plus y squared equals 1 over a squared over b squared. 
Okay, that's a horizontal ellipse. Now I'll try to do one where it's vertical. You can pause the video any time. Okay, I'll do x squared over, let me do 16, plus y squared over 144. Okay, a squared, the bigger number here is 144, so that a squared equals 144. And then b squared equals 16. And then b equals plus or minus 4. Because 4 squared is 16. And then, hold on, let me check something real quick. I think the square root of 144 could be 11. Let me check. Yeah, square root of 144 is 12, so then a equals plus or minus 12. And then remember, a is the big number. a is the big number. And this one is going to be a horizontal, I mean a vertical ellipse. So it looks something like this. So this will be a vertical ellipse. Okay, and I hope everyone else gets the video. I, I, I think I'll do one more thing here, one more little lecture slide here, just for fun. Um, if you want to figure out what a or, or b equals or c squared, remember this, a squared equals b squared plus c squared. If if you want to know what A is, see? You should probably use this. Now here here's a I'll just show draw a picture so you know like where the A's and B's and C's are. Okay, this one is horizontal ellipse. Let's see, horizontal ellipse. Uh, this will, the B will be up here. Zero comma B. And then you have a zero minus B. Over here, uh, you have a you have a c comma zero, and then you have a a comma zero, and then over here you have a negative c comma zero. Hold on, let me erase it. A comma zero, and then it'll be it'll be a negative. Negative a comma zero and negative c comma zero, and then for uh, vertical ellipse, that 
the, the A goes on the Y axis and the C goes on the Y axis. C comma A and then you'll have C C comma C and then down here will be C comma negative A C O comma hold on I made a mistake there. C O comma negative C C O comma negative A and then the B goes on the X axis. And then negative B over here. And then I'm gonna complete the circle here. So it looks something like this. And your C would be your foci. And then your A would be your major axis and vertice. And then C up here would be focus. Up here would be the vertex, and then vertex 2. And remember, the horizontal ellipse looks like this x squared plus y squared equals 1, and, and then the a is under the x squared, and then the y squared has the b. You can see the b up here is under the y axis, and it's under here too. And then for the vertical ellipse, the A is under the Y squared. Okay, that's it.